which works out, let's see, 12.75. Time to pull out my calculator. I keep everything in this little PDA cell phone. Okay, 12 points, 12.75 times, um, oh, it just went up to 8.8 .8 amps. 0.8 equals 10.2 watts. So basically, uh, you know, like a 40 watt bulb, um, that's really dim that you keep in uh, in a really small lamp <laughs> well it would take uh, it would take about uh, four of these solar panels to power a 40 watt bulb but the thing is it would power say one second of charge uh, from the solar panel would uh, it would take like four seconds of uh, battery power, or sorry, sorry, solar panel uh, output, to light a 40 watt bulb for one second. So basically, as you're charging up this uh, this battery uh, cart, um, uh, basically it will then, uh, over a period of like 10 hours or so, <laughs> uh, assuming there's enough battery capacity in it. If you charge that thing for like uh, 10 hours at that rate, or call it 4 hours, uh, you'd be able to run a 40 watt bulb for 1 hour on that. Now, uh, compared to the enormous, insane amounts of power that our society has available to it, uh, with, uh, with like um, fossil fuels and hydroelectric dams and just Abs nuclear power plants and whatnot. Um, this doesn't really compare. Um, it's mainly just this is just sort of an emergency thing. Um, and if I had a generator, like uh, if I could run a generator in a condominium environment like this, uh, I could of course easily eclipse the output of this uh, little battery card. Um, but as far, but basically this, this card it doesn't pervert, doesn't spew out any fumes, and it's a good short-term power solution. And you're not going to be running vacuum cleaners and stuff on it. <laughs> In fact, uh, I don't even know if I could run my wheat grinder on the uh, output of this battery cart. Um, if I did, um, it, it might discharge it fairly quick. But um, that's why I have a backup wheat grinder. I've got a hand crank one. It, it's a son of a bitch to crank, but uh, you can produce your own wheat, uh, your own flour with that. It's a country living grain mill and it's built like a Mack truck. It's like, <laughs> it could crush little rocks practically. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up this charge controller and uh, see what it will do. Well, sort of crimping the uh, crimping the uh, wires together. I don't know if you've seen a wire crimper before. If you're a mechanic, obviously you live with these things every day. But some people are really not familiar with this sort of thing. Okay. Wish I had my good crimper, but this will do. When you're a mechanic, you always think about the tools you have at work. And you're thinking, oh, I've got one of those. Oh, no, I don't. It's at work.
and red to red and black to black. Extremely easy. Then of course you confirm it with your multimeter before you plug it in or you might be buying a new charge controller. I don't know how robust the circuitry is on those things. Okay, in we go. And crimp. I don't know what the deal is with me. I just enjoy doing things like this. Like even today at work, I was happily just chugging away doing a coolant header plate on an M11 engine, if that means anything to you. <laughs> Okay, that is the battery side. Now that's the solar panel side, and this is the battery side. Cool. Okay, the power is at the right spot, so now I'm just going to chop these little eyelets and replace them with a uh, with a uh, cigarette lighter plug which I have uh, had a, laying around for a while I wouldn't want to rig house current through something like this but uh, for 12 volts it will work just fine Now it's necessary with this uh, with this plug here, this cigarette lighter plug, has two wires coming out of it, but I don't know which one is positive. Positive is of course that one on the very, this thing on the very end here. Um, so in order to do that you need to do a continuity test. Set your multimeter to uh, do a continuity test, the little uh, diode beep symbol. And you can hear the thing beep when you touch the two prongs together and that means that it's connected. That goes to the to the hot one. Hey, yeah, I guess right. Cool. That's hot. This will be red right here. So I'll hook the hook this up the butt connector here first. And then I'll hook the other side get a second one of these. I think I might get an extra solar panel too. They're only about a hundred bucks or so. If you want to buy something to prepare for all this BS that's headed our way, now is the time to do it. There, now I have the plug on one end and cigarette lighter plug on the other. Okay. Current voltage is oops, negative to negative. We are at 12.70 volts. Plugging the charge controller in. The charged light goes out because it's uh, because it's not charged. It's in the process of charging and. 12.73 already, so we are definitely charging. And this is Western Washington sunlight, <laughs> so if you live in Texas, you'll probably get better results, but it's kicking out pretty good. I'm rather impressed. Okay, solar panel and charger, check. 